Hi students. Good afternoon. I hope you all are fine. Students, we have completed our first chapter, Applications of Matrix and Determinants. I already informed you in the last class. We will start our second chapter in this class. So, today we are going to start our new chapter. Chapter name is Integral Calculus. Integral Calculus. This chapter is not new. Last year you have learned this same chapter, Integral Calculus. Just we learned some introduction there. So, this year we are going to learn some more deeply. Okay. So, first section in this chapter is Indefinite Integrals. First section is Indefinite Integral. So, first I will explain what is Indefinite Integral. That is concept of Indefinite Integral. Okay. So, very very important uh, one definition is integration is nothing but it is a reverse process of differentiation. Okay. That is differentiation you know in last year we have learned. So, integration means it is a reverse process of differentiation. The reverse process of differentiation is called integration. Understand? Then we know that d by dx of sin x. What is the value for d by dx of sin x? Cos x. Is it right? So, here this sin x is called the primitive function. Okay. So, this is a value derived. So, this value is derived function. So, if it is d by dx of sin x means this sin x is called the primitive function. This cos x is called the derivative derived function. Understand? This is called the primitive function. This is called derived function. Understand? So, the primitive function is also called anti-derivative function or integral function. So, the primitive function have another name that is anti-derivative function or integral function. This is a concept of indefinite integral. Understand? So, integration is nothing but it is a reverse process of differentiation. So, if it is d by d, dx, it is just an example. So, d by dx of sin x means is equal to cos x. Is it right? So, here sin x is the primitive function, cos x is the derived function. Understand? So, what are the another names for this primitive function? Anti-derivative function or integral function. Understand? Then, next is, next one definition. A function f of x is called, otherwise is said to be primitive function. When will you say it is the primitive function of a derived function f of x? That is, f of x is capital F of x. It is a primitive function. Derived function? f of x. Understand? So, d by dx of primitive function is equal to derived function. Understand? So, primitive function capital F of x, derived function small f of x. So, here capital F of x is called the primitive function, small f of x is called the derived function. So, d by dx of capital F of x is equal to small f of x. Understand? Here some examples are there. d by dx of x cube. So, x cube means 3x square. So, 3x square. Last year we have learned. Then d by dx of x cube plus 3 means it is a constant 3x square. Is it right? So, this also x cube means 3x square. So, this all the things you have learned in the last year. So, already you know. So, just we recall now. Okay. So, next one is integration. Come to integration. So, in general, d by dx of f of x is equal to f of x. Is it right? It is in differentiation. So, d by dx of capital F of x is equal to f of x which implies if it is an integration. Integration means we will along, we will uh, elongate the s. That is a symbol. Understand? Elongate the s means that is a symbol for integration. So, elongation of s. Integration of f of x. How you need to read? Integration of f of x dx is equal to capital F of x plus c. So, here in integration do not forget to put the constant of integration. Here they mentioned as c. If you need k or m or any letter you can use. But one constant of integration we need to put. So, if, if we need to integrate any uh, any values that is integration of f of x means integration of x square, integration of x cube, integration of sin x or cos x or anything means also we need to put one constant of integration. Understand? Then if two different primitive functions f of x and g of x have the same derived function f of x then they derive only in constant term then they will differ only in constant term these are the just remarks i will just read for you you go through that is integration of f of x dx is called the indefinite integral maybe in one words they will ask what is indefinite integral what is indefinite integral 
integration of f of x dx is called the indefinite integral okay then the symbol looks like an elongated s that is the symbol looks like an elongated s which stands for summation is the sign of integration which stands for the summation is the sign of integration what's the sign of integration elongated s okay then integration of f of x dx is read as integral of f of x with respect to x how we will read this integration of f of x dx means how we will read this read as integral of f of x with respect to x then f of x in integral f of x dx that is the function to be integrated is called the integral what is the integral okay the function to be integrated what's the function here we need to integrate f of x so that is called the integral maybe in one words they will ask this remark sandal so you just go through x in f of x dx is the variable of integration so what's the variable here x is the variable then the term integration means the process of finding the integral so what is the term integration means the term integration means it's the process of finding the integral then the term constant of integration means any real number c you can take any real number c or k or anything considered as a constant function understand so again we will uh, read this that is this are very very important they will ask in one words question so please students learn this okay if two different primitive function f of x and g of x has the same integral function f of x then they will differ only in their constant term where they will differ constant term then integral f of x dx is called the indefinite integral so what is the indefinite integral integral f of x dx the symbol looks like how elongated s yes, which stands for summation is the sign of integration the next one integral f of x dx is read as integral of f of x with respect to x okay then f of x in integral f of x dx the function to be integrated is called the integral what is the integral then x in integral f of x dx is the variable of integration so what's the variable of integration x is the variable of integration the next one is the term integration means the process of finding the integral integral okay so the term integration means what's the term integration means term integration means the process of finding the integral then next one is the term constant of integration means what's the term constant of integration means any real number c considered as a constant function understand that next one is the process of determining as integral of a given function is defined as the integration of a function okay then there are two important properties of integral calculus this also they will ask in one word so if k is any constant if k is any constant maybe k is a constant here maybe a or b or c or any constant if they are giving us we will take the constant outside of the integral okay so integral of k into f of x dx is equal to k into integral of f of x dx understand then if f of x and g of x are two functions then integral of f of x plus or minus g of x dx means we will split this two into two integral understand so center plus or minus we will split it into two integral these are the two important properties of integral then next one is methods of integration so here we are going to learn four methods of integration first one is integration by decomposition second one is integration by parts third one is integration by substitution fourth one is integration by successive reduction first one is integration by de decomposition second one is integration by parts third one is integration by substitution fourth one is integration by successive reduction so first we are going to learn integration of decomposition understand so here remember one thing is given integrate a function f of x means finding a function f of x such that d by dx of f of x plus c is equal to f of x please students listen here the second chapter more many formulas we are going to learn if you are well thorough in the formula then only we can touch the question understand so if you are thorough in formula integral calculus is very easy for you so please students first learn all the formulas understand so some standard results of integration this is a standard result we have learned in the last year that is integral of x power n dx is equal to x power n plus 1 take it to your note x power n dx is equal to x power n plus 1 divided by n plus 1 plus c okay n is not equal to minus 1 if n value is not equal to minus 1 we can apply this formula 
So this result we have learned in the last year. So this one, okay, ax plus b the whole power n dx is equal to ax plus b the whole power n plus 1 divided by a into n plus 1, okay. So always students keep it in mind, in the place of a, if it is 1 means no problem. Otherwise what do you need to do? We need to divide by that particular number, okay. If it is 2x plus 1, what will happen ma? Just you think it. 2x plus 1 means 2x plus 1 the whole power maybe power 2 means 2 plus 1 divided by we need to divide by the 2 okay divide by 2 into that n plus 1 plus b understand so this two results we will use in all the problems understand so we will start the problems one by one here also one do you know is there just you read all the do you know and notes also that is integral of dx is, is equal to x plus c that one already you know then y is equal to integral of f of x dx is equal to f of x plus c denotes family of curves having parallel tangents at x is equal to k. So, integral of f of x dx is equal to f of x plus c which denotes family of curves. What they denote? Family of curves having parallel tangent at x is equal to k. Understand? Ok. Let us move to the next question. Example 2.1. Solution. What is the question? Evaluate integral of ax square plus bx plus c divided by root x dx ok so we are going to integrate so how we will integrate in the sense integrate ax square plus bx plus c divided by root x how will you write x power 1 by 2 how will you write root x we will write as x power 1 by 2 p now is it right in lower class we have learned so next step what we are going to do is we are going to bring this x power to the numerator. So, what will happen? A x power 2 already it is there. Is it right? So, if you are bringing this power 1 by 2 to the numerator, what will happen? Minus 1 by 2. Same as plus b into x. Here, nothing is there means 1. Is it right? 1. Bring this power to numerator minus 1 by 2. Plus c into for each and every term you need to bring. Is it right? So, c into if this power will come to the numerator means x power minus 1 by 2 into dx. Yes, now we are going to separate each and every term. Okay, so integral we will take the constant outside. I said already. So, a into x power. What is the LCM here? 2 is the LCM. Is it right? So, 2 into 2 means 4. 4 minus 1 by 2 plus b you take outside into dx. Okay, we are splitting. So, b into x power 2 is the LCM. Is it right? So, 2 minus 1 by 2 dx plus c into integral of x power minus 1 by 2 dx. Understand? So, next what we are going to do is that is equal to a into x power 3 by 2. Is it right? 3 by 2 dx plus b into what will happen x power 1 by 2 dx plus c into x power minus 1 by 2 dx understand now we are going to use the formula we have learned the one formula that is integral of x power n is it right integral of x power n dx is equal to what is the formula we have learned that is x power n plus 1 divided by n plus 1 plus c. That is n is not equal to minus 1. Understand? So, this one we are going to use here. That is what is the formula? x power n integral x power n dx is equal to x power n plus 1 divided by n plus 1 plus c. We are going to use this. So, a into what will happen? x power 3 by 2 plus 1 divided by 3 by 2 plus 1 plus b into x power 1 by 2 plus 1 divided by 1 by 2 plus 1 plus c into x power minus 1 by 2 plus 1 divided by minus 1 by 2 plus 1. Just to simplify that is a x power LCM is 2 is it right. So, 2 into 1 is 2. So, we will get 5 by 2 plus b into x power 2 is the LCM. So, you will get 3 by 2. Then plus c into x power 2 is it right. So, you will get how much? 
1 by 2. Correct? So, minus 1 by 2 plus 1. Is it right? So, 2 is the LCM here. So, 2 will go there. So, minus 1 plus 2. So, plus 1 by 2. Denominator 5 by 2 you will get. Here, how much you will get? 3 by 2 you will get. By, don't forget to put one constant. Here, C is there. So, you can apply the constant as plus K. So, when you are integrating, don't forget to put the constant of integration. Understand? So, numerate here. How much you will get? 1 by 1 by 2. Correct? So, next what will happen? We can bring this 2 to the numerator. Okay. So, when you are writing how it will happen? 2a x power 5 by 2 divided by 5 plus this 2 will come to the numerator. So, 2b x power 3 by 2 by 3 plus 2 into c x power 1 by 2. Correct? Plus 1 constant. Don't forget to put the constant. Understand? So, when you are integrating, don't forget to put the constant. This is for answer. Very easy. If you are thorough in this formula. So, what is the formula here we are using? Integral of x power n dx. So, when you are integrating, you need to put one constant of integration. Understand? Just you are substituting the n values to the respective steps. This is example 2.1. I hope you understand. Let us move to the next question. Example 2.2. Listen here students. Evaluate square root of 2x plus 1. Integral 2x plus 1 dx. Okay. So, first when you get the question, you need to change this root. Okay. So, how will you change? Integral of square root of 2x plus 1 dx is equal to integral of 2x plus 1 the whole power 1 by 2 dx okay whole power 1 by 2 now it is in the form of that type 1 we i taught you two formulas is it right now i'm writing the formula here that is integral of ax plus b the whole power n dx is equal to what's the formula ax plus b the whole power n dx is equal to ax plus b the whole power n plus 1 divided by a into n plus 1 plus c. That is n is not equal to minus 1. We are going to use this. Why we are using this? Yeah, why we are using this? This is in the form of a x plus b. Carefully listen here students. In the place of a, what is the value? 2. Is it right? So, now we can substitute in this formula. Okay. So, that is equal to. When you are substituting what will happen? a x plus b. In the place 2 a x plus 1 is n value is 1 by 2 plus 1 divided by a value how much? a value how much? 2. Is it right? 2 into what is the n value? 1 by 2 plus 1 plus c. Okay. That is equal to 2x plus 1 the whole power. What is the LCM? 2 is the LCM. So, you will get 1 plus 2 is 3 divided by 2 into how much you will get? 1 by 2 plus 1. So, you will get 3 by 2. Yes. So, this and this will get cancelled. So, what is the answer you will get? 2 plus c. Do not forget to put plus c. 2x plus 1 the whole power 3 by 2 is yes. 3 by 2 divided by 3 plus c. Okay. So, this is other answer for the next question. Understand students? Just this one you go through. Understand it? Then we can do this very easily. Understand? So, this is example 2.2. Let us move to the next question. Okay. Listen here. Evaluate integral of dx by 2x plus 3 the whole square. So, this one we are going to bring to the numerator first. That is integral of dx by 2x plus 3 the whole square is equal to integral of 2x plus 3 the whole power minus 2 dx. Okay. I brought this to the numerator. Now, I will apply the last same formula. Ax plus b the whole power n dx is equal to what is the formula? Ax plus b the whole power n plus 1 divided by a into n plus 1. There n is not equal to minus 1 plus c. Okay. So, this is the same formula we are going to use again. Okay. So, what will happen? Now, apply that is equal to 2x plus 3. The whole power minus 2. Is it right? Minus 2 plus 1 divided by 
what's the a value 2 into minus 2 plus 1 plus c okay that's equal to 2x plus 3 minus 2 plus 1 means minus 1 divided by 2 into minus 1 correct plus c okay that's equal to 2x plus 3 the whole power minus 1 divided by minus 2 plus c. Now you can bring the, this to the denominator. What's the reason? The power is minus 1. So minus 2. Is it right? Minus 2. You can write this minus here. 2x plus 3 plus c. This is the required answer. So very easy. Okay, so 2x plus 3, I brought the denominator term to the numerator and what I did, 2x plus 3 using this formula, I substituted, finally I got the answer, the whole power minus 1. So I brought that minus 1 is there, so I brought the power to the, power is minus 1, so I brought that to denominator, finally I got the answer as minus 1 by 2 into 2x plus 3 plus c. So this is example 2.3. Okay, so now listen here, some do you know is there, just you go through and study this. Integral of a into ax plus b the whole power n dx. If any question is given it in the form means, we will write like this. That is ax plus b the whole power n plus 1 divided by n plus 1 plus c. Okay, then integral of 1 by x power n, till now we are not using any, any question. If we need, we will use, that's all. So 1 by x power n dx is equal to minus of minus of 1 by n minus 1 into x power n minus 1. Then integral of a by ax plus b the whole power n dx is equal to integral of d into ax plus b divided by ax plus b the whole power n. That's equal to minus 1 by n minus 1 into ax plus b the whole power n minus 1 plus c. n is not equal to 1. Just we go through maybe in one words question they, there is a chance to ask. Some simply they will ask. Integral of 1 by x power n dx is equal to what's the answer? Then integral of a by ax plus b the whole power n dx is equal to what's the answer? So for one word sometimes there is a chance to ask because of that don't leave it. Please go through. Don't need to take, no need to take to your notes. Okay. No need to take to your notes. You can learn from the book itself. Only that first I explained the two formulas. The x power n, uh, integral of x power n dx and the integral of ax plus b the whole power n dx. That two formulas alone you can take it to your notes. Understand? Okay, one more problem we can do in this class, that is example 2.4. Listen here, evaluate integral of x plus 1 by x the whole square dx. Understand? Solution. For this problem, x plus 1 by x the whole square dx is equal to, for this problem what we are going to do is, first we are going to expand this. What's the formula for a plus b the whole square? What's the formula? a square plus 2ab plus b square. You know, is it right? So, we are going to split like this. That is, x square plus 2ab. 2ab means 2 into x into 1 by x plus 1 by x square into dx. Just I split it, expand by using a plus b the whole square formula. That is equal to integral of x square plus this x and this will get cancelled plus 2 plus 1 by x square into dx. That's done. Now we are going to split it as a part. Okay, how we will split? x square dx. Then next one is plus 2 into integration of dx. That's a constant, is it right? Then integration of 1 by x square dx. Okay, so now what's the formula we will use here? x power n dx. What's the formula? x power n plus n plus 1 divided by n plus 1 plus c. Now use it. What will happen? x power 2 plus 1 divided by 2 plus 1 plus 2 into what is the integration of dx? Already I said what is the integration of dx? Integration of dx is x plus you can bring this to the denominator numerator. Otherwise here itself you can do better. You can bring this to the denominator. numerator. Okay. So, what will happen? Separately, I am doing for that. So, integral of 1 by x square dx means, I will bring this to the numerator. So, x power minus 2 dx. Now, apply. So, x power minus 2 plus 1 divided by minus 2 plus 1 is. So, what will happen? x power minus 1 divided by minus 1. Correct? So, you can bring this to the denominator. So, minus. What will happen? 
1 by x. Now substitute this value here. Okay. Minus 1 by x is plus. This is the answer. That is equal to x power 3 divided by 3 plus 2x minus 1 by x plus c. This is the answer. Understand? So, separately you do. Otherwise, no problem. Here itself we can do. That is, if it is in denominator, you will confuse because of that I took this to the numerator and you just substitute in the formula. What is the formula? x power n plus 1 divided by n plus 1. That is, x power minus 2 or x power minus 1 or x power minus 3 like this means you need to bring this to the denominator. Understand? That is all. So, very, very easy. Using the two formulas, we have learned uh, four problems. Students, please learn uh, correctly. Formulas is very, very important in this integral calculus. Understand? So, very, very important section this one. So, formulas is very, very important. So, whenever you are learning correctly, learn it very carefully. Okay? One more problem we will do. That is example 2.5. Listen here. Evaluate x cube plus 1, 7, x minus 4. Okay? Solution. First, we are going to multiply. Multiply this with this one. So, what will happen? x power 4. Then, minus 4x cube. Then, plus 7x minus 28 dx. Just I multiplied the two terms. Okay. Now, split it. Integral of x power 4 dx minus 4 into constant outside. So, x cube dx. Then, plus 7 into integral of x. Is it right? So, integral of x dx. Then, minus... 28 is it right minus 28 integral of dx okay so now integrate what's the formula you use x power n dx is equal to x power n plus 1 divided by n plus 1 plus c okay now use it what will happen equal to x power n plus 1 minus x power 4 plus 1 divided by 4 plus 1 minus 4 into 4 into x power 3 plus 1 divided by 3 plus 1. Then plus 7 into x power 1 plus 1 divided by 1 plus 1 minus 28x plus c. Correct? That is equal to x power 5 by 5 minus 4 into x power 4 divided by 4 plus 7 into x square divided by 2 minus 28x plus c. That is equal to x power 5 by 5, this and this will get cancelled, minus x power 4 plus 7x square by 2 minus 28x plus 6. This is the answer. Understand? So, very easy. Okay, students. So, 5 examples we have completed. I will give some home assignments for you. Take your books. Home assignment, exercise 2.1, first Roman, first problem. Homework. Exercise 2.1. First, first problem that is root of 3x plus 5. How we will do? That is 3x plus 5 the whole power 1 by 2. Like this one to do. Then second one a minus b the whole square formula. Okay. So a minus b the whole square formula. Third one just you multiply these two terms. 3 into 2, 3 into 5x. This one you multiply and do it. Okay. So first three problems is a homework for you. So 1, 2, 3. Three problems is a homework for you. Students now we still sit and complete the three homeworks also. Take the five examples to your classwork. Put the heading integral calculus. Write down whatever the things I asked you to take to your notes. Uh, learn all the formulas. All the no do you know notes? Everything you learn, remarks, everything you learn. That will be helpful for you to write, uh, attend the one word questions. Then don't forget to complete the home assignments also. So we will continue from two example two point six in the next class. Okay, students, be safe. Do your works daily. Uh, we will meet in the next class.